Seg P322. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the newer Six Hour P322. Little compact size, 22 long rifle handgun that I think a lot of people were excited about. The, the Mosquito they had years back just didn't cut it. It didn't review well. People said it was unreliable. And I think SIG changed that with the P322. Now this was released in March of this year. And it has some very nice qualities. Now, the MSRP on this is right around $400. SIG doesn't give the MSRP, but if you search hard enough, you may see right around $400. And that's what Cabela's is selling it for right now. So, you know, you're looking at $400 initially. It was in the five. So it's already dropping in price. But what do we have here? We have a four inch barrel, 22 long rifle. It comes with. 20 round mags and if you go with this you'll get this sig hard case two 20 round mags with a speed loader which will help by the way because those last couple rounds certainly get tight it's clearly optic ready you can see there's a bull armory red dot on there this was borrowed from rider's range he was kind enough to let me borrow it and i was at rider's range shot it and it performed really well it little bit ammo finicky you know had a couple hang-ups there but that's pretty common with 22 now if you don't go with a red dot it comes with this plate it is plastic fiber optic rear sights fiber optic front sight so if you don't want that this is how it ships with the plate installed another thing they have that is certainly an advantage is a threaded barrel all right this is a thread adapter that cover comes off and you screw that on and you can shoot suppressed and that's certainly an advantage and I did that at Rider's Range. Now you may notice it has a flat trigger. This is actually a trigger shoe. The trigger only goes down about a half inch. It also comes with a curved trigger. So you have your option there which one you would prefer. So they, they give you quite a bit in the case I certainly enjoyed shooting with this red dot on there, but it was a nice shooting handgun. And 20 round magazines is certainly an advantage, especially during this time when ammo is very expensive. It's a lot of fun to go out and shoot 22. Now let's take a look at that grip texturing. That reminds me of the P365. It has that indentation right in there. A little more aggressive than the P365, but not too much to notice has good overall feel three finger contact as mentioned four inch barrel and that trigger is single action you're looking at right around a four maybe a little less pound trigger with a full pick rail i'm going to cut in here and talk a little bit more about the trigger i am measuring the single action trigger pull right around three and a half pounds with a reset right there so the trigger weight that light it certainly is single action and i like the idea of having a flat trigger or a curved trigger i think sig did a nice job with that now it's not a modular pistol but they do offer modular parts to it that kind of makes it a modular pistol but the internal fire unit will not be able to be switched out into other frames so, already mentioned fiber optic front sights it does have forward serrations and ambidextrous thumb safety it has to be charged there ambidextrous thumb safety and a pretty simple disassemble but i mentioned i shot it quite a bit actually let's go ahead and roll through some of that footage and we'll talk more about the p322 Little hang up on the federal match.
couple of those hangups could have been ammo related. I was shooting primarily Federal 22 match. Uh, CCI works works better, and it's a higher quality 22 long rifle ammo. It has an ambidextrous slide stop on both sides, ambidextrous thumb safety. Magazine release can be moved over. Lefties will certainly enjoy that. But it also has an easy disassemble. Just lock the slide back, push this lever up, drop the slide. Well, you don't drop the slide, just pull back a little bit, and off comes the slide. And you can see it has a fixed barrel, four inches, and a fixed recoil spring. And that's what we're looking at. Nice, easy setup. I think this will compare well with the Taurus TX-22 competition. That's the one I have now, so we can look forward to that in the future. I'm going to be working on that. I suppose I should move that lever down. The pistol with the optic is weighing in at 18 ounces. But here I have 22 rounds of 22 long rifle. Weighs well, right around 20 and a half ounces, so it's certainly a lightweight gun. I think SIG did a good job. They made it ergonomic friendly, they made it left-handed friendly, they made it optic ready friendly. And the price, well, you'll have to decide that. Right around 400 bucks is what it's selling for. You'll see that it is selling even higher than that, I think because it's a new release. But over time, I think the average will be right around $400. And if Cabela's and Bass Pro Shops, big box stores already selling it for that price, then you know... You know, others will follow suit because they're usually a bit higher. But they did a nice job with the Ergos and overall fit and function to complement SIG's other handguns. And it's certainly less expensive to shoot. And I think that's something we can all agree on. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.